Hello all and uh, this is an unofficial uh, video. I just came into the video because I wanted to share certain things regarding ILTS writing and I was just correcting uh, one of my students paper and I realized that a couple of uh, mistakes that can be really uh, you know upsetting that you have to be very careful when you write your ILTS exam so one of the things that I would like to point out from the essay that I was correcting uh, is actually the usage of there are okay so I see students constantly using the word there are there are there are researches being done there are uh, you know there are uh, points there are mentioning there are the happenings so when you use the word there are it shows that you are not sure of what you're sharing it shows that you are just mumbling around some words you're just trying to be very uh, inaccurate about what you're actually sharing so it is not good to use there are researches so when you say there are researches you know that there aren't any researches but you're saying that there should be, there might have been, uh, obviously there should be. So you're not sure, but you're just trying to say it or trying to point out because it's a need of the essay. So try to avoid that and always begin the uh, begin such sentences with a noun. Always start in a passive way, in a passive sentence. So you can always say that, you can, you can say it this way. Researches are made. Researches have been taking place. Researches have be so you can use the verb or the noun or you can use um you can use, write it in a passive sentence rather than using the word there are everywhere so that shows that you are not you're not really sure about what you're writing another mistake that i saw in this essay is usage of phrasal verbs now phrasal verbs are actually they're informal terminologies they are informal phrases which are coined by a group of people for their personal convenience it is it has got nothing to do with it does not have a proper root in uh, in the english language it is something formed by a group of, group of people they have formed it so that it can be used in a very casual manner so uh, such words have to be take out taken in uh, you know exit um, um, come in come uh, come on to you know such words such point out such words are actually called phrasal verbs and they are highly informal and they it's not like it's not it's not that you can't use it at all but maximum try to avoid using phrasal verbs in your essay that shows or that makes your essay weak all right so that was one mistake another mistake that i saw in this essay another one is please avoid the usage of very and so but also now when do we use very we use very most of the time when we don't have a proper vocabulary to the word so we say very fast why because we do not know what is the next word that we can use after fast so it's actually quickly you can use the word quick quickly rather than using the word very fast so let me tell you one more fact about the word very not every uh, not every verb or not every verb can be used with very very is not to be accompanied with every verb but we use it because we don't have another option try to google in more for the synonyms and try to find out any um, replacements or substitutes for the word very so but also can also be avoided by using a formal linking word which is hence or not only but also or as well as these are formal words that you can use but try avoiding so but also so is but and also can be understood but so is like completely uh, you know it cannot be used no don't do that uh, another thing that another thing that i actually saw is do not copy the question okay that is that is totally unprofessional um, when you copy the question into your essay, so I've seen in task one, especially for the pictorial representation for the pie chart and for the you know flow chart and all, I've seen the questions being repeated into the into the into the answer. When you do that, you're actually writing the words of somebody else, somebody else's. You're copying a word of somebody else's, which can even be called as a plagiarism. Okay, so I do not want you to do that. That is also wrong. So presently, these are the mistakes that I found from this essay. But as I go on to look on to, uh, to correct more essays, I will come across more mistakes and I will be coming back soon officially in a video where I'll be discussing about the 12 mistakes that you're not supposed to uh, repeat in your essay or the 12 mistakes that you're not supposed to bring or write in your essay for if you're looking for a high band score okay so yeah these are some of the things so if i see anything else i will surely come back in the video so yeah for now that's it bye bye hope 
you got the answers the first one is do not use there are try not to use there are which will be better um, it is do not start a sentence with it is do not start a paragraph with it is that is so unprofessional you need to start an essay or a paragraph with the linking word is fine with a noun it's fine with a passive sentence it's fine but not with it is um, avoid the usage of very so but also and do not copy the question so these are some of the things that i understood from this essay as i correct more if i come across many mistakes any any more mistakes that i am reminded of i'll come back Till then, bye-bye.